Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologize in advance for making your head cave in. Jen Psaki and the MSNBC crew are, repeat a bunch of Taylor Swift lyrics as news. I'm John Mike Keen. Hey, Ari, I know you have been dying to talk about what happened. I think it was 27 minutes. Is that right? Sounds about right. A after the debate. Well, they got it down to the minutes. Did you hear the tectonic shift in the Earth's plate? We, we have split up Pangea and then put Pangea back together. The world is shifting because of Taylor Swift. Which is the endorsement by a certain superstar I just talked about. I am a Swifty. Yeah, she's slobbering. This is like fame worship. This is adults worshiping children. Watch this guy. What a pathetic. Tell us a little bit about what this means. And culturally... I mean, it's it. The endorsements don't always matter, but this one feels like it does. Uh, Taylor Swift has a huge following. Wait, Taylor Swift has a huge following. We didn't know that. Thank you for informing us, MSNBC. And it overlaps with a big part of the coalition that uh, the, the Harris campaign would like to win. They'd like to win it. No, the Harris campaign is already going to win all of the left-leaning Swifties, a hundred percent of them, the young kids and all of them. They're not going to dig into the undecided Swifties or the Trump Swifties. And I can't believe I'm even using the word Swifties. I should get my man license taken away. Taylor Swift's endorsement is so sought after and coveted, and we have up on the screen her, her statement there, that Donald Trump was lying about it and pretending he mm -hmm. got it. And now this is where MSNBC has no sense of humor. They don't, you have to explain jokes to them. It's so sad. Trump didn't pretend to get it. He was teasing everyone teasing even Taylor Swift about her endorsing him. I'd like to buy a vowel. Remember that? You used to be able to buy a vowel. I'd like to buy a sense of humor for MSNBC. And we'll start there. She said that. She called out Donald Trump for the endorsement. She has a lot of power. She can say this the way she wants. She picked a big night to do it and said Trump was basically lying about this with these AI images that he was posting, pretending he got it. There wasn't Trump. Trust me, guys. Trump couldn't make an AI image if his life depended on it. It was all of us fans that made them. AI jokes about Taylor Swift endorsing Trump. We didn't think she endorsed Trump. We were making fun of her. That's why we made the image. We thought it was funny. It's these people do not have a sense of humor. He didn't. And she says, quote, the simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. And this is why you don't want them ever being in charge of censor government censorship because they will take humor and call it misinformation. That's why a guy makes a funny meme about voting on Hillary and he goes to prison. Guys, this is what they do. MSNBC, they are 1984. They are Big Brother. They will lock you up for humor. Mm -hmm. And so, as Taylor would say, are you ready for it? Uh, I think Donald Trump might be down bad crying at the gym now. <laughs> and <laughs> their fantasies and their giddy about Trump being upset over this thing. It, it would be dumb of me even to weigh in. It would be even dumber of me to quote a bunch of her lyrics. And I am reminded of other uh, Taylor lyrics uh, in the cat keep it realm. Going, keep it going. Well, karma is a cat. <laughs> well, since we're speaking about cats, don't forget that hideous, terrifying cats movie <laughs> that also starred Taylor Swift. She She's trying hard to forget that. I just want to let you guys know that that hideous image of that when she was in that movie, Cats, that that also endorsed Kamala Harris. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Purring in my lap, <laughs> flexing like a damn acrobat. I knew you were going to go there. Me and Karma <laughs> vibe like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm watching Project Runway when I, when I hear a man speak Taylor Swift lyrics. This man, you know, my, my head is caving in. And is this Karma for one of the many people, we've seen this throughout her career and her life, one of the many people who underestimated her or antagonized her or tried to narrow her. Um, she's also said... You caged me, then called me crazy. Who's afraid of little old me? You should be. Mentally deranged. Head caving in. Bad even for MSNBC. They've re recalibrated the compass at MSNBC for a new low. A new deranged emptying of manhood. I'm John Mike Keane.